What's going on YouTube? Genius here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a good one. Today, we are rocking out with a slow start Regigigas team that also features Zacian and Choice Scarf Shadow Rider Calyrex. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the community. Over 60% of my viewers, one of you guys, over 60% of you guys, I should say, are not subscribed. So if that's one of you guys, do me a favor. Just join the community by subscribing to the channel. It really does go a long way. But let's get started here in the top left corner with the one and only Regigigas here. I used Regigigas a few times in the past, and he is super, super strong, especially in Dynamax form. And once his slow start ability gets rolling. We got the Life Orb as its item, and then we're rocking Giga Impact for Stab, Darkest Lariat, and High Horsepower for coverage moves. And last but not least, we got one support move with a Wide Guard. Right next to him is going to be that Neutralizing Gas Weezing, which pairs oh so perfectly with this Regigigas. Just a beautiful combination. It allows uh, Regigigas' slow start ability to not even trigger, making him come into the battle at its fullest potential. We got the Shuka Berry as his item. Then we got Sludge Bomb, Taunt, Will O' Wisp, and Protect for this thing's moveset. Middle left is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex, not just any Shadow Rider Calyrex, Choice Scarf Shadow Rider Calyrex. With the As One ability, then we're rocking Astral Barrage, Side Shock, both for our stab moves. We got Leaf Storm for coverage and Will O' Wisp to burn physical attackers. Fourth Pokemon on squad is Zacian. Do I need to say anything about this Pokemon? We got the Interpret Sword and Rusted Sword as its item and ability. Iron Head, Close Combat, Substitute, and Protect. This one is a little bit different considering it's Rocket Substitute, but you know, that is probably like its second most used. Uh, Moveset is the substitute moveset, so it is still very, very normal for Zassi to be rocking this moveset. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be our G-Max Blast, so he's over here with the Torrent ability, alongside with the Mystic Water as its item. We got the Hydro Cannon for Stab, we got Dark Pulse for Coverage, then we're rocking Yawn and Helping Hand for Sleep, and uh, helping our ally Pokemon do more damage. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be our Flame Body Volcarona with the Focus Sash. We got Heat Wave, Struggle Bug, Rage Power to protect our Pokemon. Last but not least, we got Protect to protect himself. Guys, you're going to try to see out this team for yourself. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this slow start Regigigas team. Let's get rolling here, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one for today's video. Going up against a Dialga and Groudon team that also features Ndidi, G-Max Charizard, Whimsicott for speed control, and last but not least, he's rocking out with Regilecki. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? We really do not have too much speed control here, so I'm thinking of just going in with the Weezing and the uh, Regigigas for the start. I kind of do dig that a lot. I do dig that a lot. Yeah, I'm with it all day. We're going to leave both of them, and then we're going to bring Zacian to back in because, you know, Zacian's just too strong. He's too good. And then Shatter out of Calyrex. Another Pokemon that's just too good. So we're going to lock in this squad. We're going to lock it in, and we're going to look for a win here in battle number one. But before battle number one even starts, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What abilities do you guys think are the best in the game? Whether you guys have multiple on your mind or just one on your mind, let me know in the comment section down below because, obviously, everybody knows Intimidate's top tier. Intimidate's top tier, that's definitely on a lot of people's list, but if you have any uh, any other ones, you know, throw it in the comment section down below. I love to hear you guys' response, and I always love uh, responding to you guys' comments. I try to respond to everybody, so if I haven't been responding to you guys, just know I get a lot of comments. <laughs> just know I get a lot of comments. But uh, this guy's kind of struggling to pick his team. We got his back against the wall. If I have a guess, he's probably going to go into uh, maybe, like, like Whimsicott. He's going to go into Pokemon that don't really rely on their ability. So maybe like Whimsicott Dialga or like Indeedee Dialga, but Indeedee kind of relies on that ability. That little Psychic Surge. It's going to be really good for us. But say he goes into like the Groudon Charizard combo. The Drought's not going to pop out. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a lovely little scene. It's going to be a lovely little scene, but let's see who he goes into. Make a move, dude. Dialga and Regilecki. Yeah, so I did think he was going to gonna go into like Dialga. Dialga and Regilecki really do work well there. That is totally fine. Uh, At this point, I think we just Shit up Dynamax, maybe go for a Quake here, right? Get that special defense boost. And then we could, uh... We could taunt you. We could taunt you, but I just don't think taunt, taunt is going to fall. I think we might just throw a burn on this thing. Just start getting some chip damage onto it. I do like that. I do like that, and I like the special defense boost all day. I really do like that. I was going to taunt him, but like if he trick him, he could trick him. That's fine. That would be fine. Maybe I should have taunted him. Could have been a play, but I'm just going to throw a burn on a special attack. Just to get some chip damage. You know, chip damage is always good. It is always solid. It is always solid. Yeah, or I could have doubled down on Regilecki. Regilecki could be Sash. Let's see. Oh, he's going to Dynamax. He's, he's got to be Dynamax to Dialga. The thing is, we really don't want to proc Dialga's weakness policy. So he's not going for, uh... He's not going for Trick Room, which is good. Which is good. So, Burn's, Burn's, Burn's a solid play. Burn's definitely a solid play. 
Definitely a solid play. And I wonder, I think uh, what's called might outspeed Reggie Gagas. If this thing's not going for an e -web. And it is going for an e -web. So he's going to slow us down just a tad bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Speed's going to drop. And we're going to drop a nice, lovely quake on this thing. He's going to go for a worm one on. Son of a biscuit. This is like rocking worm one. Right into, right into my wheezing. And it takes out my wheezing. Oh, that just dumps on my wheezing. Just dumps on my wheezing, no problem. Okay, I'm cool with that. I honestly am. He's going to get the minus one on attack. That's fine. Neutralizing gas wears off, and the pressure's going to come out here. So no more gas. Slow start's going to... Oh, it's going to... Oh, no. Taking out my wheezing like that. I should have probably protected the wheezing. My slow start's gone. We still should be able to do a decent amount of damage here. Wow. If I had to guess, it was sashed anyway, so... Not enough damage to take it out, but we do get that lovely little special defense boost, which... Okay, so from here, I could just roll into... Uh, you. And I'm really liking going into this Pokemon because we can outspeed that Regilucky with the Switch Scarf. And we can take it out before it even hits us. So, I'm with this all day. I am with this all day. And I gotta watch out for Proc in the policy. Do I, uh, he has to have the policy, right? He has to have the policy. It's an absolute must. We're gonna go for the Astro Barrage, just take out the Regilucky. We could go for Darkness. Special Defense Drop. Ain't too shabby here. Ain't too shabby here. Without Proc in the policy, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We have a nice little Chewy Scarf. We're going to take out Regilecki. Man, get him out of here. Get him out of here. And we did a decent amount of damage overall to that Dialga. Decent amount of damage. And we get the Grimnay boost. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So as long as he doesn't take out my Calyrex here, we can be thriving. Dialga's going to go for the Quake. Who's that going into? Going to Calyrex. Can you eat that Calyrex? I love you. I love you. So nice little eat up there. He's going to get a... He's going to get plus one. We're going to minus one him here. That's good. That's good. So good thing we didn't go into the Quake. Because that would have did no damage. Just proc his policy. So we're just going to chip up with this. Like, look at that. Nothing. Doing absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing, which we do not like. Which we do not like. That was that was awful. That was awful. It was awful. The minus one doing us dirty in a slow start. Wimscott's gonna get sent out here. Maybe a tailwind might pop, pop out here, which we still I still do think we outspeed. I still do think we outspeed, even in that tailwind. And shh, do we just go for darkness? We might have to double down in this Pokemon. Just in case Sash gets triggered. I still do think we outspeed this thing. Yalga. I'm with it all day. I still do think we outspeed the uh, Dialga even after a Tailwind, right? Tailwind comes out here. Calyrex flies, dude. He flies normally, and then we're Choice Scarf on top of that. Look at that. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Exactly what we wanted. So we do that. Bang. Actually, take you out. We take Wimscott out, no problem. And he's going to take out my Calyrex here, right? Grimnade's going to get boosted. And if he doesn't take out Calyrex, we're sitting in such a good spot. Sitting in such a good spot. He goes for another Max Quake. Smart little play by him. And we're going to bring out our Zassi. So, yo, solid battle. Man. Solid, solid battle right here. He goes plus one on special defense. We're going to minus it again. We're going to minus it again. Even though it's really not doing anything for us. Because we have physical attackers out on the field right now. So, we go for Max Darkness. And now our slow start should be ending very soon. We got to actually see that. A Quake probably could have taken that out. It would have been kind of close. But if Dial get down... Down to low HP. We still have Zassi in the back end. And I wonder who he's rocking with as his final Pokemon. It could be Groudon. Groudon could be terrifying. Groudon could be terrifying. It is Groudon. It is indeed Groudon. Okay, how should I play this one? Oh, I do have Y Guard. I do have Y Guard. I do have Y Guard. I have Wide Guard, which is going to be amazing. That might clutch it up for us. And because our Dynamax turns are over. So I can legit just go straight into a Wide Guard here, block the Blades, and then kind of go from there, right? Could be a great play. There's no way he reads I have Wide Guard, right? So it legit comes out in this play. So we're going for Behemoth Blade. We're looking to KO here. And we're just going to go for a Wide Guard. It's our play all day. It's our play all day. The Alga protects. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Wide Guard, come out here. Wide guard come out here. Beautiful wide guard. Beautiful wide guard. Show me he's going for blades. Show me he's going for blades. He crash. We eat though. We eat. We eat though. And he gets a crit. What you mean? Dude gets a crit. That's crazy. Behemoth blades flying through here. Can we do enough damage? We are plus one. Let's do some big old damage. Take him out, please. Get him out of here. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. oh we get a crit too. All right, crit for crit. Evens out. How many turns left in the tailwind here? Show me one. How many turns left here? Probably two, right? It's probably two. I think it's two. It is two. Um, at this point, we just got to protect you. We have to get rid of one Pokemon. 
Who do we get rid of? Who do we get rid of? We know Dialga can't protect, so let's just get rid of Dialga here. We know Dialga can't protect. Groudon might protect. This is a good battle. This is such a good battle, dude. Such a good battle. I'm so surprised he went for that. Uh, I am so surprised he went for that crash. I think he's thinking if he should go into a Blades now. I think he's thinking that. But it wouldn't matter. We're protecting Zacian. We just need my boy to eat up. That comes out from Zacian. Let's see what he does from here. Blades does come out here. Wow, he makes a great lead here. Great, great lead. Great, great call there. Oh my god. We need my boy to eat up. Flash Cannon comes out here. And he was shooting out over on the him. Wow. Wow, he was shooting out over on the him. We take out Diaga. Oh my god, what's the call here? What's the call here? Does my boy outspeed him? That's the real question. Does he outspeed him without the Tailwind? He should. He should 100%. So I'm just going to go into a wide guard here. That's my play. I'm going to have to go into a wide guard here. I have to because if I don't go into a wide guard, Groudon outspeeds us right now. And he'll just going to take us out with double blades. Cannot allow that. But if we go into a wide guard here and he goes for a single attack and move and takes out my... Zacian, then my Regigigas can outspeed him next turn. So, I have to go into a wide guard here. It's a must. It's a must play for us here. It's a, it's an absolute must play for us. Because, again, we have to waste out these Tailwind turns. He goes for the Blades. Beautiful. That's GG's. That is GG. So, wide guard coming in clutch. I think we had that one regardless. But, as long as we just wide guarded that turn. If that made sense to you guys. It made sense to me. I had the wide guard that turn. The beautiful. There it is. But he was playing coming through here. And what a first battle, yo. GG's to our opponents. That has been one of the best battles I had here. Really has. Came down to wire. Came down to legit one move. Time to go back to back for today's video. And we're going up against an absolute banger of a team. This guy has a Rayquaza and Zacian team with Suicune, uh, Urshifu, Cantoni, and Zapdos. And then last but not least, he's rocking Incineroar. I really do like this dude's team. Really cool looking team. Really cool looking team. I feel like whenever you use Rayquaza, it makes your team look so cool. And a little bit off menish Because Rayquaza is a cool Pokemon, but it doesn't get that much love in it is really good with the airlock. It is really good with the airlock. But how should we play this one? How should we go into it? I feel like Weezing and Regigigas could be solid here for a start. But that might be really, really predictable. It could definitely be really predictable. Hmm. What is Jeans doing here? What is Jeans going to do here? I could go Calyrex. Could go Calyrex and a Blast Switch. Could be kind of solid. I'm not even going to lie. It could kind of be solid. But I might go... Hmm. Might not even bring Regigigas. Might bring a totally different squad here. I'm kind of like a blast switch here, but he might lead the Zapdos. And if he leads the Zapdos, that could definitely do me dirty. We don't like if he can lead the Zapdos. So, you know, we're just going to go here and here. We have two restrictions. We're going to bring G-Max Blastoids. And last but not least, I'm thinking going Volcarona. Let's go Volcarona here. Let's have some fun with this one. Let's have some fun with this battle. I just feel like I know Regigigas and Weezing is super, super strong. It's just great all around, but it is so predictable. You know, it is super, super predictable. So I'm hoping he's kind of just thinking I'm going into Regigigas. And, uh, and Weezing, and then we can kind of just get rolling from there. But well, Regigigas and Weezing is really, really good. It is super, super strong. Let's see how he plays this one. Let's see what he goes into. He goes into Urshifu and Zip Zap Force. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. I'm not, I'm not, like, upset at it. I'm not upset at it. Uh, what do we do here? What's our play? We obviously going to go into an Astral Barrage. He's probably going to Dynamax that Zapdos. So I think going into Astral Barrage into a uh, a Behemoth Blade is probably our player. Interpret Swords can come out here. Or I can hard swap. Could definitely hard swap you. Maybe like somebody like Volcarona and just uh, Flame Body him. Or he can go for a Sucker Punch. Ooh. 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 Mm. Yeah. We got to swap. We, we got to do this. 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 100%. He's going to Dynamax that. That can still do a good amount of damage. So, we're going to predict that the Sucker Punch is coming in hot. Something along those lines. We got we to swap you. We're, we're not dealing with that. We're not dealing with that. And I do have Rage Powder from there and all that. But there's a Dynamax coming out there. As long as he's going for Sucker Punch, we can be sitting in such a good spot. A really, really good spot. A really, really good spot. But he's obviously just going to go for just Air Streams, all that good stuff. Trying to boost that speed for the team. That's why Zapdos is so, so good. He's just super, super good. But in this case, we'll have the Rage Powder. We'll have a lot to do. But again, we're hoping he's going for the Sucker Punch. If he goes for the Wicked Blow, he goes for the Wicked Blow. That's fine. Let's just see what he does. Sucker Punch comes through. 
It's a beautiful call by us. We swap out there, and Behemoth Blade's gonna fly through. Even though it's not very effective, can still do some good damage. It's double damage when he's Dynamax. We're plus one on the board. It is stab. It's not very effective, but look at that. Look at that. Can't go wrong with that. Cannot go wrong with that. Not very effective. Comes out here, and he's just gonna go for a max player. Go into Zassian, please. Okay, cool. Go into Zassian. Zassian should be able to eat. So since Zassian's able to eat, I can legit just follow me the shot. Or not follow me. Rage powder the shot. Both the moves are gonna come over there. We have the focus ash, and we can just take out Zapdos from there. So I do like that. I do like that. Rage powder coming in hot. We're gonna drop a nice big old behemoth blade. Coming in hot. Good old behemoth blade. Good old Bladen. See what he's gonna do. But that was such a good call for us. Predicting the sucker punch going to Calyrex and going from there. And going from there. If I could save my Calyrex for back, it'd be a beautiful turn. He's gonna withdraw the Earth Spirit, which is totally fine. He's gonna go into a Cinnamore. And I still do think this takes him out. It's gonna be cutting it close. It's definitely gonna be cutting it close. We're gonna go back to even. But still, he's gonna take he took life orb damage last turn. He's gonna take life orb damage this turn. And he's always oh, gonna guard. He's gonna guard. What a good play by him. What a good play call by him. I'll give it to him all day. So he guards, he wastes a turn. Um, hmm, probably gonna fake me out now. Now I can just uh, protect. Or do we... What do I do here? I don't think I protect. I really don't think I protect. I really don't think I protect the... Uh, the what's it called? I really don't think I protect the... Uh, the Zassian here. He fakes me out and he has to double down into me. That's totally fine. That's a waste. That's a waste of uh, two turns there. So what's he going to do? Is he going to fake out? Yep. Fakes out. Oh, no. He fakes out in Cinnamon. I thought he was going to fake out my Volcarona. We flinch. That's totally fine. Heat Wave's going to fly through here. Chipping up some nice damage. Give me some burns. Throw him around. Throw burns around. No burns. And this thing's just going to go for an Airstream. That's totally fine. And yeah. See, I knew he wasn't going to go into my Zassian. We still have Focus Ash. We can kind of roll out from here. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. Focus Ash is gonna pop. Cool. I can rage, I can definitely rage power this shot. I can definitely rage power this shot. So life for damage is gonna chip away. That's totally fine. So I'm, um, he's probably gonna go for Heat Wave to be honest with you guys. So rage powder might not even be your call here. He does rock Heat Wave. Let's see the summaries. Let's see the speeds real quick. Let's see the speeds. Okay, so we got 167 and where's my boy at? 189. Heat Wave's just gonna take us out. That's tough to use. We have no first turn priority. Heat wave and shh, close combat. Only plays, right? It's our only plays. I'm trying to think of what else we could do. Hmm. What is gonna be my call here? Zapdos gonna oh he's gonna protect. Okay. Zapdos protects. Zassi might be able to go before Incineroar. He does, yo, that's gorgeous. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. Why did he protect? I don't know why. I love it. I love it. I'll take it all day. I'll take it all day. It's huge chaos for us. It's huge chaos for us. Huge. Heat wave's gonna poke. Heat wave is just gonna get blocked. I don't know why he protects. He's fast on the field. He is fastest on the field. I'm with it. I'm with it. Bad play call by our opponent. Bad play call by our opponent, in my opinion. He's gonna go in Earth food. Okay, uh. What do I do from here? Hmm. It's good that we're wasting out these turns here, though. It's good. Sunlight's almost done, too. So, you know, I'm going to Rage Power just in case he wants to go for a Sucker Punch. That, I'll Behemoth Blade into you. I will Behemoth Blade. But again, I do think Heat Wave's just going to fly here. Earth Fruit protects. That's okay. Okay. Is he going for Heat Wave? He's got to be going for Heat Wave. There's no doubt in my mind he goes for Heat Wave. Yeah, there's Heat Wave. See, that thing just outsped me. He could have just still had his Incineroar alive if he just went into that last turn. So we're sitting here, sunlight is gone. We have to bring out our Calyx, and we're sitting in like a weird spot where it's like we're choice scarfed. Oh, he does go. Oh, that's huge. That is huge. And I think I know what I want to do here. Our sunlight fades. Um, you know Calyx outspeeds everything, but we're sitting in, in a weird spot. We got we saw our Dynamax, so we're gonna Dynamax to you. But like I said, we're sitting in a weird spot where we have Shadow Rider Calyx here going up against an Earth Spirit with Sucker Punch, Wicked Blow, two moves that could just take me out. Instantly. Instantly. So I think going from here, we can choose Scarf straight into a Will-O-Wisp, right? That should be our best play. That's got to be our play, right? That has got to be our play. We have to choose Scarf into a Will-O-Wisp. 100% our play. 100% our play and Dynamax are blessings. So, 
G Max Canyon A flying over onto. I think we, I think we take out Urshfu here and we just and we just leave this this assassin with a burn. But the good thing about Will O Wisp is, is if he goes for a sucker punch, he's just gonna fail. It's just gonna fail. So this is a perfect example to why we have Will O Wisp on our choice scarf Pokemon. This moment right here. This moment right here, which is beautiful. So if we can get off this burn on the Zacian, I wouldn't mind it. I don't mind it. We're just going to get rid of the Urshfu, and then we're going to target down the, uh, the Zacian with the burn. Because any Pokemon or any physical attack with the burn is really not that big of a threat. Zacian can still do some big damage, but it's going to be a lot less than what he normally does. So if we get our Dynamax off here, or our G-Max, we're going to get our Hydro Cannon pop it out here, which is one of the best G-Max moves out there. Let's see what he goes for. Sucker Punch? That's going to protect. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll take his Zacian protect. Is he going for Sucker Punch? He does. That's beautiful. He goes for Sucker Punch. It fails. We go for Willowis. We get blocked. Beautiful. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that all day. So we're reading the Sucker Punch hard, dude. We're reading the Sucker Punch hard. We're gonna go right into this. Built later, Urshifu. Get him out of here. We bring him down to Focus Ash, but since we have the Candy Nade damage, it's just gonna take him out. So now we're sitting in a phenomenal position. Phenomenal position where my boy outspeeds. My uh, Calyrex outspeeds. We're just going to throw a burn on that next turn. And we're just going to wrap it up. So what a battle by us. Yo, we are playing so good. We've been playing so, so good in ranked double battles. So, so good. Making some good calls with our Calyrex today. We didn't get over, like, like hyper offensive with it because we know how hard it can hit. We kind of, we dipped it back in first turn. We're like, this thing has Sucker Punch. And then we we, we made just go for will And this guy cancels the battle. So there it is. Let's get it, Jeans community. Let's get it. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Looking for a perfect record here. We're playing so, so well. The first two battles were absolutely amazing. I'm glad I got those ones on recording. They were awesome. They were great battles. But we're hopping into the third one. Going up against an Ice Rider, Calyrex, and Kyogre team with Faramosa with that speed swap. Then he also has the Mimikyu over here. And do we think Mimikyu's rocking that mental herb? If I had to guess, yes. If I did have to guess, but we can take off its ability with that and we can get rolling with you. Sounds good, right? It does sound really good. It does sound phenomenal. But I kind of want to go maybe in the U as a lead. Just in case he wants to lead the Mimikyu. But nah, yo, we, we, we all went in the Reggie. We going straight in the Reggie. We're going to go in the Reggie. We're going to rock out with Zacian. And then do we go in the Calyrex here? Yeah. Yes, sir. All day long. All day long. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record in battle number three. But this one, I think it's going to be tough for us. I do like the neutralizing gas here. Neutralizing gas does a lot of work here. It does do a lot. It cancels out the drizzle. It's gonna cancel out the disguise. It's gonna cancel out the prankster on the uh the Grimstar. It's gonna cancel out the psychic surge. It just it just does it just does a lot of work. And I kind of forget what Faramos's ability is. I really do. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's beast boost. Okay. It's not big of a deal. That's not too big of a deal. It's just beast boost. And usually that thing's not there for picking up chaos. It's there for basically just like a speed swap. And maybe, maybe doing a little bit of damage to pick up the KOs. But again, it's not there just like Dynamax or like get some mean KOs and roll out against your team. But yeah, we're doing solid today. We're doing really, really well. Actually, we're doing way better than solid. I really do like those first two battles. They were awesome. They were great battles. Let's see who this guy leads. He's going to end up leading Mimikyu, show me. Mimi Mimis. And indeed, dubitably. So both Pokemon that really uh, rely on their abilities. So this is a good turn for us. Definitely a good turn for us. We could double down into Mimikyu all day. Oh, we could still go for follow me, Butterbeast. That's exactly what he's going to do, though. So he is definitely going to get off Trick Room. Um, hmm. I guess we just do work up against that, right? Might not even Dynamax. Do I Dynamax? I'm not going to waste a Dynamax turn here. I'm not even going to waste a Dynamax turn. It's not even worth it. We're just going to double down into this Pokemon. Again, it's follow me Trick Room all day. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we're going to double down this NDD, and I think we could maybe take it out. Dark Slayer is going to fly. This could do some big old damage. Look how he spins, yo. He spins so weirdly. <laughs> we just dump on that thing. We just absolutely get rid of that thing. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. So no need to Dynamax. That was a great turn for, for us. Definitely a good turn for us. Sludge Bomb's going to fly through here. Give me a poison, or just take it out. Get a crit. Oh, wait. Why does it still get disguise? Huh? Neutralizing gas doesn't take that off? That is whack. That is whack, so I guess it always gets that. Wow. That is whack. So I guess the only way to kind of take it out is like a Pokemon that can hit through abilities like Wolf Breaker or uh, a G-Max move that can hit through abilities. That is nutty. That is crazy. That is crazy. Okay. Uh, I'm obviously going to go for a burn on that thing. And I might Dynamax here. 
I might dynamite or we could save or not. No, we have we have to dynamite. Save. And then just go for max darkness. We're gonna double down into the same. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This guy's doing us dirty. But still, we weren't killing that Mimikyu anyway. We were just gonna do a nice little chip damage onto it. But it does end up getting off trick trick room. We knew it was we knew it was getting off trick room. We knew it was getting off trick room. So we're gonna have to play in a weird spot here. He's got a Dynamax Ice Fire Couch, which we know one of the best. Not even one of, probably is the best Pokemon in Trick Room. And just so good. So good. So he's gonna Dynamax it. If I had to guess, it's probably weakness policy and we might proc it here. But my boy can do a good amount of damage. He definitely could do a good amount of damage. But I'm hoping we can get off this burn on this thing. I really am. I wonder what Mimikyu's going for. I wonder what Mimi Mimi's going for. Because Mimikyu usually rocks with Lewis as well. Which could be tough because he might be slower than my, uh, my Reggie here. He might be slower than my Reggie and he might be able to get off a burn before we even attack this Pokemon. So we get our Dynamax off. He gets his Dynamax off as well. We're sitting at 370 HP. We should be able to soak up a good, like a, a nice little shot here from the Calyrex. Shadow Sneak's going to fly through here and he's proc policy on his own. So that's fine. He's going to proc policy. This, this is scary. This is scary. Go after my Weezing. Just take out my Weezing. Let, let my Reggie get, get off the turn. Let my Reggie get off the turn. He goes for a Quake here. And let's go in there for Weezing, right? Yeah, Weezing couldn't drop out here. So that's fine. Weezing goes down. I'm cool with that considering we get a turn with Reggie Gagas. We get a turn with Reggie Gagas. Oh, but slow starts going now. No. We don't like that one bit. Slow starts going now. Now we're, we're doing only like half damage now. Slow starts going. I should have just protected him. Do I, do I have? I think I have protect him. I should just protect him. I should just protect him. This happened, this happened in battle number one. See, I don't use Regigigas too much, guys. Do not use him too much, but there's some damage there. We'll take a nice little special defense drop, and uh, what do we do from here? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be such a tough battle. Such a tough battle. Hmm. I feel like we have to waste out these trick room turns. Go into here, I can protect. Protect might have to be our player. What do I do? What do I do? I could go into obviously a Behemoth Blade. Super effective on them both. Could take him out, no problem. Hmm. But I have to protect. I have to. I just have to protect. I have to waste out turns. Protect, I could go for a Quake. We could go for Darkness. Strike. Hmm. I would kind of rather just start dropping their stats, right? If I start dropping these dudes' stats, we start doing more and more damage. I'm with it. Let's roll out. Let's roll out. Hopefully he goes to my task in here. Again, I, I'm just trying to waste turns here. Protect flying through here. This one's tough. I told you guys from the beginning. I said this one's going to be a tough one for us. He goes to the Quake. That's got to be going to Zassian. So good thing we did protect, right? Going to Zassian, please. Yeah. Good thing we did protect. Oh my lord. Look at that damage. Damage is ridiculous. Damage is ridiculous. Special defense is getting boosted. We're going to knock it back down. Oh my lord. That damage absurd it is absurd it is absurd amount of damage absurd amount of damage oh my lord if we can waste out the stricken we, we have a nice chance of winning this battle because we have our zassian or not our zassian we have our uh, shadow rider calyrex in the back end and he burns me how dare you how dare you burn me i thought i was your friend i thought i was your friend how many turns left to trick him I'm gonna be kind of close. Uh, obviously gonna go for his blade here. Oh, we, we got, we got. No, we lost. We lost. Unless we can get rid of a Pokemon here. I have to get a crit. I have to get a crit. I have to get a crit on this thing. Maybe we should just start targeting down that Mimikyu, but I have to get a crit on this thing. Quake flies through again. Yeah, dude, this is tough because I can't protect my Calyrex. He's just getting absolutely pummeled on. Because I need my Cal My Calyrex has a high chance of just like picking up a double kill here. And then going from and then going from there. Let's see. Like, dude, this one. Like, and he has one more turn left in Trick Room. He's just, just gonna start dumping on me, man. He's not gonna worry about the Regigigas one bit. We're will o -Wisp. We need a crit. We need a crit. Give me a crit. Give it to me. <laughs> God dang it! What do you mean? All right, special defense goes back to normal. Oh, dude, 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 dude! We should have protected our Weezing that turn. He's gonna go for Screech. 
It's over with because he's just gonna go into a glacial lance here. Wait, I, 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 I don't know. I don't. There's nothing we can do, right? Oh wait, I have wide guard. I have wide guard. I have wide. Wait just a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. I have wide guard, and it has came up clutch in the last battles. Has came up clutch. As long as Shadow Sneak can't kill us in one turn, which it, I don't think it can. So we're gonna need to soak up a Shadow Sneak. Have him go into Glacial Lance, us wide guard it, us pick up the double kill, and then roll out from there. Astral Barrage, coming in hot. Wide guard, coming in hot. Make it happen, baby. Make it happen. Make it happen. Dude, if we win this battle, just know I, I would be the best player to ever step on the Pokemon Arena Battlefield. Ever. Ever. <laughs> wide guard coming in here. Come on, baby. Gene sees a new pair of shoes. Here's the Shadow Sneak. Eat this up, Calyrex. I need you to eat this up. Let's go. Show me the Glacial Lance. Show me the Glacial Lance. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Trick Room's gone. We're going to pick up a double kill. Trick Room's gone. We're going to pick up a double kill. Oh my lord. Take him out. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. Yo, the plays. The plays. The plays, the plays, the plays. Now, Trick Room's gone. We have Calyrex plus two. Ready to rip through. Outspeeded every Pokemon. Let's see who he's, see who he's ripping. Who's your final mod? Who's it going to be? Run it. Run it. Run it. Run it all day. Run it all day. Because I know you ain't going for a water spout. I know you're not going for a water spout here. I could wide guard it. But we're going straight for National Barrage. We're choosing that anyway. And we're going for Giga Impact. He might protect, and then I might have to Y-Guard next turn. Regigigas might be able to actually outspeed him, too. Astro Bosch flies through here. We're plus two. Get this thing out of here. Do him dirty. Do him dirty, Calyrex. Oh, my God, dude. I'm, I'm just too good. I'm done playing forever. After those three amazing battles from your boy, Jeans, I have decided to retire from Pokemon battles. Just kidding. I am too good. I am too good. I can't believe we won that last battle. That was just super, super clutch with the wide guard. That was really our last hope there. It was definitely our last hope. We, we just went into it. We're like, we have a shot here, but we have to eat up the Shadow Sneak. And he has to go for Glacial Lance. And that is exactly what happened. Wide guard came up perfectly. Blocked the Glacial Lance. And then my boy Calyrex picked up the double kill. Went up plus two. And then just tanked on that Kyogre. Took him out. No problem. So... Guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.